simply allow the flow of experience to present itself to you without any interference on your part. Notice that you are that which is aware of your experience. Experience flows by, so to speak. But we, I, the one that is aware of it, remains. Simply know yourself as the simple fact of being aware, or awareness itself. Disentangle yourself from the content of experience which is another way of saying simply let whatever experience comes to come and let whatever experience goes go open without resistance to the appearance of any experience and equally the disappearance of any experience. All our suffering, psychological or emotional suffering, consists of our resistance to what is present or our search for what is not present. this resistance and seeking does not arise on behalf of ourself, the fact of simply being aware or awareness itself. It rises on behalf of an illusory self, which when sought cannot be found. If we look for ourself, that intimate, familiar one that we call I, we simply find the fact of being aware, or awareness itself. Take a step back from the content of experience and rest not in yourself, but as yourself, the presence of awareness. There is no sorrow there. There is no discontent there.
to begin with. Our being, or the fact of being aware, uh, seems to be a place in ourself that we visit from time to time. When we step back from experience. And then through force of habit we find ourselves lost again in or identified with the content of experience. And uh, our suffering begins again, so we, we take a step back. This back and forth goes on for some time in most of us to begin with. But there comes a time when our being, the fact of being aware or awareness itself, is not just a place in ourself where we take refuge from time to time. It is where we live, not even where we live, it is what we are. It becomes our, our new identity. And just as we previously did not need to continually remind ourselves, I am a man or I am a woman, it was just our default state. So now to understand and feel ourself to be this ever-present, open, empty, resistanceless and inherently peaceful presence of awareness becomes our, our natural condition. It is just what we know and feel ourselves to be. We still engage with experience, but we no longer lose ourselves in or identify ourselves with any particular aspect of experience, such as thoughts, feelings, sensations. These all appear in us, they are known by us, ultimately they are made of us, that is made of awareness but we are not made of them. Just like the A movie is made of the screen, but the screen is not made of the movie. Know yourself, feel yourself to be this presence of awareness that is utterly intimately one with all experience, at the same time free or independent of it. Our self does not need to be liberated from experience through effort, practice or discipline. It simply needs to be recognized as such, that is, to recognize itself as such.
to begin with as we simply rest in being or as being. Our being loses the agitation that it acquired from experience, that resulted from our being mixed up with the content of experience. Either gradually, in most cases, or occasionally, suddenly, our, our being is divested of agitation and its nature is revealed as peace. And in time, our being loses its limitations. All the limitations that it seemed to acquire from thoughts and feelings and particularly the body. Either gradually, in most cases, or occasionally, suddenly, we begin to feel that the being that we essentially are is the same being that everyone and everything essentially is. After all, whatever we are as apparently separate individuals, we emerge out of the universe, whatever exactly the universe is. And therefore, whatever we essentially are must be the same as the universe out of which we emerge, just like the the essence of the wave is the same as the essence of the ocean. It's one thing to understand this intellectually, but it's quite another thing to begin to feel that we share our being with everyone and everything. begin with, the, the felt experience of our shared being is restricted to our nearest and dearest. But in time it expands to include everyone, all the animals, all the things. We recognize, we realize that the boundary between ourself and all people, all animals and all things is, is a boundary made of purely out of thought.
remind yourself regularly of these two universal truths. Being is happiness and being is shared. That is the entire tradition of non-duality in a single sentence. All that is necessary is to understand this, to feel this, and to live its implications. <laughs>